Good morning to Atlanta and to Fox Theater and to this awesome Caldwell Banker Blue Sky. It is so exciting, yes. It is so exciting to be here. Caldwell Banker is magic and Jen Blue is pure magic. We're together again. We are getting to catch up. We're telling stories from our time apart. And I just love spending time with our agents. I love hearing about your work. You know, what really matters to you and especially how you earn the business. I love to learn how you make people turn to you and return to you by what you do. We all know that some people in this business are just chasing numbers. They forget what they're all about. They forget their why. Why are they in this business? The business of finding people homes, of building communities. We do important work together. And at Caldwell Banker, we have something in common. And that really is who we are and why we do it. Our agents are different. And they remind me of who we are as a brand because they constantly live out our brand story. I was in the lobby last night and another agent told me how proud she is to share our story every single time that she pitches a listing to a customer. And you know that story well, the one that began our company in 1906. And so a more recent story filled me with our very particular kind of Caldwell Banker pride. It unfolded tragically like a lot of really meaningful stories do. It happened in one of the most beautiful and treasured places on earth, in Lahaina, on Maui. People's lives and homes were destroyed like they had been in San Francisco during our founding. And soon after, once again, outsiders were coming in, pressing people to sell their land. And our own Caldwell Banker Island affiliates was there for the people, even as their own office was destroyed and many of their agents had lost literally everything. But Steve Houle and Bob Sella, <laughs> their entire team was there. They showed up, they were advising people, providing for people and protecting people in their town their people exactly the way we do. And so many of you also reached out to them like you always do across the network. You showed up, you added to what they were doing, and that's us. That's how our story always unfolds. It's remarkable. Let's let them know one more time how much we appreciate all of them at Cobble Banker Island Affiliate. And each and every one of you has your own story. It's your own story of service and dedication, of purpose and goodness that drives you individually. Just took, take a look at our companies and you will see their intense focus on community service. There are so many examples, but companies like Caldwell Banker Apex in Texas, Caldwell Banker, <laughs> they are here in force. Caldwell Banker Advantage from the Carolinas. Uh, companies like Caldwell Banker Kane in South Carolina, taking it, they're taking it not just one day at a time, but they're in the middle of 90 days of, of giving. You know, remarkable. And of course, there are companies that constantly get hit themselves, like the companies in Louisiana and Mississippi. But they look to help others rebuild. Angle Safari, Trehan, and Alfonso. These are companies that reach out to others despite their own hardships. It's really amazing to see them and see how they participate in the network. And then there's our own Cobble Banker Realty, who is doing good work everywhere across the country. And each of you plays a role in this broader Cobble Banker story. And we have to continue to storytell. We have to tell people who we are. That is how we increase consumer engagement with us and grow our business. Stories can inspire people and bring people together under our brand flag. Today's consumer will not just decide to buy based on what you're selling, but they really want to know why you're selling, how you go about your business, and how they can connect to your individual purpose. This year's entire Gen Blue is based on this concept of equipping you to be able to tell your personal story 
and the value of being part of the Cobble Banker brand in ways that can resonate with your clients. And global presence is also part of that story. We now have over 100,000 agents in 40 countries. We have, it's remarkable. And so many people travel here, you hear them applauding, we're applauding for them, to get together here in Atlanta to work on our business. Can we hear from the people who came from Atlanta? We need like a go dogs for that crowd. We have some of the greatest real estate professionals the world has ever seen. There are icons in this room. The Jill Zeter team, Jade Mills, Jim Allen, Billy McNair, Carrie Wells. I know, I'm, I'm going too fast. We want to show the love to everyone. Uh, Tim Allen and Tim Smith. Uh, we have people who've traveled far too, like Vonda Demure and David Hollander. The Don McKenna group is here. We have absolute superstars, and those are just some of, some of the names. This room is full of stars. And we are never finished growing. In fact, we are going to add another superstar from right here in Atlanta right now. You know her from TikTok as the real estate sensation, and she has nearly a million followers there. She just joined Cobble Banker. Let's welcome Glenda Baker. Oh, my stars. <laughs> I, they love you. I tried to outshine her, but it's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, we're really happy to have you. And I know you're so happy you've been telling the story in TikTok and social of why you joined Cobble Banker, but I would love for you to tell everyone why Cobble Banker. Y'all, they brought me over here yesterday to run through this, so I wouldn't be nervous. <laughs> It totally did not work. <laughs> I'm about to have a nervous breakdown, so please go with no me. No one believes that of you. <laughs> um, you know, I had this perfectly scripted response. True, deep local roots, global exposure, amazing agents, and amazing leadership. And those were all factors in my decision to join Coldwell Banker. But ultimately for me, Coldwell Banker offered the biggest and the best platform for me to not only tell the stories of my past, but to write the story of my future. And that's why I'm here. Well said. You're awesome. Thank you. Glenda is quite the social media storyteller, and she will be an incredible teacher for all of us. She joins other social media standouts we have in the network, like Danny Hertzberg and Alin Onar, Rebecca Blacker, and Anthony Wen, just to name a few. People across the industry look to us for this expertise, and succeeding in a market like this will require growing our expertise and also expanding our horizons. So we know the world is evolving. By 2030, 45% of the population in the United States will be diverse, and you are seeing your client base changing. I encourage you to learn, embrace, and welcome people into your life who may be different from you. Sharing a story can truly break down our barriers, give us commonality, and help us build community. I recently got to sign a pledge on behalf of all of you and our family of companies to join others like ARIA and NAREP, Women Up and the LGBTQ Plus Alliance to sign the pledge to root out discrimination in real estate so that we can help more people find homes and find them where they want them and we can help build community. It's another space where we are leading. And we have people in our organization, in our network, who are the leaders. 
I would love for you to join me in acknowledging our own king of an agent, who's also another Atlanta superstar, and he will be serving as the president-elect of the Real Estate Alliance, Justin Ziegler. He's awesome. All right, I've spent my minutes. I have been telling just a few of the Caldwell Banker stories, but it's time for me to open up an entirely new chapter for Caldwell Banker. I have loved working for you as the COO and then the president of the affiliate business. And I have really enjoyed working alongside Kamini Lane, who runs the Cobble Banker Realty Company. She's also just amazing and a superstar. But this year, Sue Yannacone, the president of CEO and Anywhere Brands and Advisors, asked me to take on a role working across our family of companies. So even though I have a blue heart and everybody knows it, um, I needed to find and identify a replacement to focus on our affiliates and our affiliate agents so that I could support you from a different position. I got to meet so many amazing people across the business as I was looking for the right person, and I found a real star. I knew it because in spending time with him, I was reminded of our value. Up until last week, he was an outsider looking in. He was a super successful executive at a competitive brand for over 20 years. He's been in the business for 30. And I saw through his eyes what our brand really meant in the marketplace. I could see what it meant to him. It was the only company that he would leave his brand for because he recognized Cobble Banker as the very best. He is the right person for Cobble Banker today and into the future. Please welcome Jason Waugh. Hello, Caldwell Banker. Yes. Jen Blue, I've heard about it. I've read about it. But honestly, to experience it in person, it's amazing. And we have an amazing experience in store for you this week. I'm just going to pause for a quick second and take this in. Look at this beautiful audience. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for allowing me to be here today. This is... Uh, a photo of my family. I'm a blessed father of, of five daughters. They allowed me to pick my walk-up song. And uh, while I am an Eminem fan, that song in particular to, to talks about seizing opportunities, it was really an honor of our youngest daughter, Shaylin, right in the middle. Super sporty. That is her game day song. Every game day we have to listen to that song. And she notified us a couple years ago that she had created this alter ego. And she named her. She named her Gargona. That's kind of an odd name, but it's her life. We'll let her run with it. Uh, and then a big day in our household today. Have one of our daughters turned 15 yesterday, so she takes her learner's permit. So we've got a driver, a second driver, in about three hours. And uh, she was so gracious. I apologized I wasn't going to be home to celebrate her birthday. And she's like, that's okay, Dad. I'll just drive you home from the uh, airport when you get home. So... <laughs> Super excited. But, but again, I am so honored and so humbled to be a part of your leadership team. Of what I sincerely believe is the most iconic brand in the real estate industry. Enjoys the richest history of all real estate companies. Now, I got a voice message. So we announced my position on Tuesday. So I got a voice message on Wednesday. And I'm glad that I missed the call because now the voice message is memorialized. And I got a call from a gentleman that's been a great friend, a great mentor, a big brother, much older big brother, but a real industry leader, runs a great brokerage, multi-generation uh, family brokerage, independent brand, great state of Florida. So he calls me on Wednesday, Jason, congratulations. I am so proud of you. That obviously felt good, right? And Somebody that I look up to, I admire, I respect, an industry leader is proud of me. But what he said next is really a testament to all of you and the people that came before us and the path that we're paving for the people that are going to come behind us. And he said, I wrote my college paper in 1979 about Caldwell Banker. 
the most iconic company in real estate. And fast forward 44 years, he has the same feeling. I mean, the sense of pride at that moment. I just got chills saying it out loud. The sense of pride was overwhelming. Now, Liz, now before I, before I go any further, I would really be remiss if my first appearance as president of Caldwell Banker Affiliates, I didn't take the opportunity to honor my predecessor. So if you would join me in a standing ovation for your immediate past president, Liz Geringer, I would appreciate it. <clears throat> I, I will tell you that Liz is one of the reasons that I'm here and she loved, and also her love and affinity for this company and for you was almost one of the reasons I turned the opportunity down because it was such big shoes to fill, but uh, super, super inspirational and truly one of the reasons that I'm here. Now Liz shared with you that Caldwell Banker is the only brand that I would leave my former company for and that's an absolute fact, an absolute fact. There's only one job with one company that I would have, that would have been compelling enough to leave, and it's this one. And I'm so honored and so humbled to be here. Now, thank you. Now, I grew up in and around the business. I've been affiliated uh, with one company for 30 years. 30 years. A company that a part of its roots were family, so you got legacy and family dynamics there, but deep, meaningful, long-term relationships. So it's not a monu it's a big monumental decision and move. All the things that pull at the heartstrings, and yet I chose you and because I wanted to be a part of this team. Again, the most iconic company in our industry. And it boiled down to one thing, boiled down to people and the shared commitment to excellence moving this industry forward, the focus on growth, and one of the most caring cultures I've ever been exposed to in Caldwell Banker. You know, I love this theme of storytelling. It's so relevant to our day-to-day, -day, right? We, a big part of our job is to interpret raw data, compile it in a way that we can create a story and tell a story about the current market conditions. So, our customers, our buyers and sellers can make good informed decisions. And Liz spoke on the difference between what you're selling versus why you're selling. And I heard this statement a couple, a couple years ago, and I believe it's even more relevant today, and I think it's gonna be relevant in perpetuity, that we live in an experienced economy. And that's our job. Our job is to tell a story about the market conditions and then deliver and create an exceptional real estate experience. Now it's no secret that we find ourselves navigating a pretty complex market. A lot of distractions, what I call noise, if we allow it. And as you get to know me better, you'll know and come to appreciate how much I believe success is dependent on mindset, attitude, perspective. Even more so in really challenging times. And I'd love to share a story with you. It's not a real estate story, but it was a story that was really impactful on me and speaks to a lot of those things, the power of perspective, the importance of attitude, taking action in the face of fear, living without regret. So I commute a lot between Seattle, Washington, and Portland, Oregon, and sometimes do it by train, just get more work done that way. So in September of 2022, one day I decided to take the train from Seattle to Portland. Sit in business class, go to my assigned seat, instantly sit down, open the laptop, start knocking out some emails. I know I have three calls to make, so I'm, in the, I'm making those calls. The young lady sits down next to me. And I could tell, even though I'm engaged in what I'm doing, I could tell she's a little anxious, a little unsettled, a little nervous, the way she's gripping her bag and she's fidgeting a little bit, looking around. <clears throat> so. Close my laptop, and I just say hello. She says hi, and she's like, what's taking you to Portland? I said, well, I've got some work down there, just visiting a couple offices. 
I respond in kind, what's taking you to Portland? And then she begins to tell me her story. She's like, well, <clears throat> I'm on my way to meet my biological mother for the first time. She was an addict, gave up her parental rights. I became um, a part of the foster care system. And between the age of 10 and then when she aged out, she lived in 65 different homes. And a year earlier, her biological mother had reached out, made contact, wanted to meet with her. She declined that invitation, still having some, harboring some resentment and anger, understandably. Fast forward a few months, she learns that her biological mother is dying from kidney failure. And so she thinks to herself, I don't want to live in regret by not meeting her before she passes and have that weigh on my conscience. And I'm sitting here listening to this 19-year-old story, my jaw literally on the floor. When she finally pauses, I say, and not very eloquently, I said, wow, you were really tough. And she said, yeah, thanks. Which kind of made me laugh, but she said, I am but I've lived through some very traumatic experiences. Sorry. <clears throat> but it's all about perspective. And that just washed over me so powerfully. And I just thanked her for sharing her story with me, introduced myself. She said, Thank you for listening to my story. I'm Isabella. I go by Bella. Sorry. My oldest daughter, 17, her name's Isabella, goes by Bella. <clears throat> Trust me, behind the bald head, beard, uh, Bravado, I'm really a softy at heart, so you will see me cry more. Trust that. But as we parted ways, I said to Bella, always, always choose that attitude and that perspective, and you're going to accomplish amazing things. Now, our paths are probably never going to cross again, but she will forever forever be a hero in my eyes and I will never ever forget that experience now speaking of heroes each year you know Caldwell Banker honors one of its own with its hero of the year the recipient this year an amazing amazing woman learned of a Ukrainian family fleeing their war-torn country looking for refuge in the U.S. and she realized that coming to the U.S. was just the beginning of that journey. Where are they going to live? How are they going to live? She also recognized that this family would need to learn a new way of life, grieve, begin to heal, endure so many trials and tribulations. But she wanted to ensure that they had the gift of time. Time to acclimate, time to adjust to this new life without having to worry about paying for housing. So her goal was a year of free housing. She rallied her community, local real estate professionals, and generated enough money to gift this family a year of free housing. She made an incredible, yes. She made an incredible, incredible, life-changing difference for this family. And in so doing has earned her the 2023 Caldwell Banker Hero of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Caldwell Banker, Hartung, in Tennessee, Florida, Agent Christy Perkins. Christy, thank you. Thank you from Caldwell Banker, but more importantly, thank you for representing the real estate industry. Proud of you. So, let me end you with this. Business, business like life has seasons. All seasons have a beginning, they have a middle, they have an end. 
All seasons offer opportunities. And so true in our business. Because regardless of what the economy's doing, regardless of what the market's doing, regardless of what our competition's doing, life always goes on. And life events typically determine decisions to buy or sell real estate. So if life's always gonna go on regardless of all the things around us, which by the way, we have no control over, and life events determine decisions to buy or sell, there will always be opportunities for us to achieve our goals. Success is going to be enjoyed by those that are the most willing to be inconvenienced. Let's say that again. Success is going to be enjoyed by those that are the most willing to be inconvenienced. We dictate our success, not the market, not the economy, not our competition. Now, you've already made the investment monetarily and in time to your business, yourselves, by being here. And I applaud you for that. Let's continue to make investments in ourselves, our businesses, growing, learning, networking with each other, so we can leave here and go back and do what we do better than anybody else in our business, and that's create exceptional real estate experiences. Return home and take your unfair share of the market opportunities in your respective markets. <clears throat> Lastly, thank you. Thank you for choosing to be a part of the best brand in real estate. We are Caldwell Banker. Thank you.